everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel, CrackZat, Turning Problems into Solutions. This is me, Priyasha Das, and this is the solution video to the first concept video on time speed distance part one on my channel. In case you are coming to this video first before the concept video on TSD, then please make sure that you go and check the description box and the comment section of this video where you will find the link to the actual concept video of this chapter. First, understand the concept, try it yourself and then come and see the solution over here. So let's directly get started with the solution. I would not be using the old school method of using simultaneous equations and making the solution longer. I would just be sticking to what I taught you in the previous video, that is understanding the formula. So over here, we can see that the train is traveling with 75 kilometers and meeting with an accident and then the speed of the train changes and it becomes three fourth of its former speed. Now you remember the speed earlier by one by one and now the speed is three by four. So there is a reduction of there is a reduction of one by four in the speed. Now, if you guys remember the concept video or if you have seen the concept video, you would have remembered that speed and time are inversely proportional to each other and distance is the constant. So over here, we know that when there is a decrease of one by four in the speed, it is obvious that there will be an increase of one by three in the time. So this relation is what we learned in the concept video that an increase of 1 by x leads to a decrease of 1 by x plus 1. So this is the relation which we learned in the previous video and we'll be applying the same concept here. So we know that a speed when decreased by 1 by 4 leads to an increase in the time by 1 by 3. Now over here we could read that the increase in the time is 45 minutes and 35 minutes. That means this increase in the time is 10 minutes and these 10 minutes account to one third of the total time. So one third of the total time is equals to 10 minutes. So the total time will be equals to 30 minutes, quite obvious. And because this question is entirely in terms of kilometers, so we will try to convert the minutes into hours which will give me 0 0.5 hours. So this is the time with us. Now in the formula of speed into time is equals to distance, we already have the time with us. Now it's time for us to find out the distance so that the usual speed of the train can be calculated. So for finding out the distance, we need to understand the question first. The question says, that had the accident occurred 20 kilometers further, then the time would have changed. So this change in the time, these, this 10 minutes is actually accounting to the change in the distance of 20 kilometers. So we are not going to consider the total distance traveled. We are just going to consider the 20 kilometers which are responsible for the half an hour change. So now in the formula, in our basic formula of speed, time and distance, we have with us the distance and the time both. So we know the formula is distance divided by time. So I would be dividing 20 kilometers by 0 0.5, which will account to 40 kilometers per hour. That is option A. So that's how simple the question was. You need to just find out the decrease in the speed and find out the corresponding increase in the time. That would be one third. This one third of time is equals to 10 minutes. So the total time will be 30 minutes. That is half an hour. And this half an hour change is due to the 20 kilometers of change. And so we would be having our answer as distance by time 20 by 0 0.5 leading to 40 kilometers per hour. If you find it useful, please don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends and make sure you hit that bell icon and the subscribe button because this will keep you updated on a daily basis with all these kinds of informative videos. So until we meet again, please take care and thanks for watching.